I have something from outer space. I am going to be showing you how to make a wonderful kiwana, kiwano, kiwano, I hope I'm saying it correctly, kiwano melon salad. Yes, but la prima cosa, I want to welcome you to Mia Cucina. Mia Cucina means kitchen in Italian. And la prima cosa we need to do is to put the fadale. And my husband picked this fadale for me today. I love it when he picks up the right fadales for me. And um, I wanted to bring this salad to you. Actually, I'm going to be showing you two different salads, utilizing some very unusual products. You know, depending on what part of the country you are, you may find things like this, with little pricky things that you will look at and go, my gosh, what is that? And what this is, guys, is a kiwana melon. It's a kiwana melon, it, it's, uh, it's not a fruit. It is from the cucumber and melon family. It is potent on antioxidants, low in calories, high in protein, promotes blood sugar control, reduces blood sugar in diabetes in diabetic rats. They still doing tests on the humans. So it is being tested and it does lower the blood sugar level on rats. It also improves cognite, uh, co cognite abilities and is very low, 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 low in the glycemic index. It's low in the glycemic index. And I'm gonna show you how to cut this. We're gonna be utilizing hemp. And the, how can you tell if this is ready for ripening? When it's all yellow like this, uh, it's, it's getting there, it's starting to show a lot of orange. And when it shows a lot of orange is when it's done. But I will show you what to do. I have two of them. This one is not quite right, but it's just my husband and I, so I'm going to be utilizing one. I'm going to be utilizing this Camuno melon. I am going to be utilizing the tomato. You know the tomato. I'm going to be utilizing a beautiful orange uh, pepper. I'm going to be utilizing some blueberries. And then I'm going to bring you to another out of space wonderful little guy. He is, I love this little guy. He's all hairy little guy. And this guy is a rambutan. And he comes all the way from Asia. And the interesting thing is, the first time I met this little guy, it was in Costa Rica. And they had them in Costa Rica. I didn't even know what they were. And I learned about them. And I learned and I'm going to show you what to do with them to get to this part. My gosh, it's delicious. Because what I'm gonna show you, this salad is gonna be super high antioxidant, which is really needed right now for our bodies because you are what you eat. It is your responsibility for your health, not the doctors. The more healthier you are, the less doctors, the more money you're gonna be spending on the medication and medications. All right, so now we're gonna to go to another superfood, and it's going to be, I'm gonna be utilizing this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful purple kale, purple kale. And everything I'm using is organic. And then I'm also going to be utilizing some pine nuts that I have toasted. If you don't have pine nuts, don't worry about it. Just use almonds. And it, you don't even have to even use almonds. Okay. And we're just going to be using a very simple vinaigrette that I'm going to be utilizing apple cider vinegar. I'm going to be utilizing some salt, some black pepper, some honey, olive oil, and, and that's how it's going to play out. But the, well, the one thing I want to show you is, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to plate it, but I'm going to bring you back over here to the ram, rambutan. And rambutan helps the body absorbs iron. If you're having problems with iron, you know, there's, there's everything out there. There's a way a lot of information out there. And, uh, but it's very good to learn about these things because it can help us. Again, this right here is a uh, rambutan. It comes from Southeast Asia. It helps the body absorb iron. It's high, high in antioxidants, vitamin C, 
and it also is good for weight loss. Mm, we want to be more skinny, no? Okay, so what I do with this uh, is I just give myself a, a bowl, and I love them cold, which actually, uh, I'm going to put this, I'm going to show you the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the, the, the salad dressing, uh, but I'm also going to put it in the refrigerator because I'm, we're going to eat it later, but I, I wanted to bring this to you. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is how do you get into getting these guys? And these guys also have seeds inside, which I'm going to try to uh, try to grow this because it's I absolutely love it. So what I do is uh, some people use their fingers. Uh, some people may want to use um, a little a little a little knife just to kind of get in there, just like so. And what you're going to see when you start opening this guy, okay? you're gonna start seeing this beautiful fruit that is starting to come right before your eyes. You know, I, I always wonder, and I know that people would watch animals, and that is how we started eating all of these things, because imagine this, and imagine E.T. found home. E.T. found home. And so that's how it is. So. Again, let me, this, let me show this to you again. So what you're gonna do is you're kinda gonna get in here. I use my fingers. It, sometimes it's hard, but it's easy to peel. And we do not use the little hairy dudes. They're so cute though, aren't they? I don't even wanna throw them away because they're just so cute, the skins. So th these are the skins. I'm just peeling the skins and what it reveals, it is the most amazing, delicious. Have you ever had a lychee? It tastes like a lychee. So now it's been peeled. Okay, this goes to the side. And then what I want to do is I want to bring you back to the wonderful uh, Kimando, Ki, Kiwano, Kiwano, Kiwano. So we have the uh, Ram Bhutan and the Kiwano. Oof, my goodness. All right, so now how do you take care of this guy? Well, this guy is very simple. You're just going to cut the sides over here. It is prickly. Isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? It is prickly. So we're just going to cut it like so. And look what you get in there. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Okay, now with these guys, we're not going to use. Oh, mmm. And it has a lot of seeds, and you eat the seeds. You eat the whole thing. Look at that. And look at what's inside. Mmm. Oh. So now, now what I like to do is, I like to kind of, Peel this guy, and when I, I and I know that I cut it in half, but I don't want to be eating the skin. I really want the fruit, and it is kind of a tricky thing to do this. And uh, and, and trust me, I I have murdered uh, these guys uh, sometimes. And uh, so what I find is once I get that is to you know you may want to use a peeler. And it peels like a cucumber, guys, just like a cucumber. And you know, you, you could peel it before you cut it, but I just really wanted to show you what it looked like. And it's, it is so good for you. Um, and the uh, uh, kiwa, ki, Kiwano Melon. Who would have known? Who would have known Kiwano Melon? I just absolutely love this. And especially, it's got a, a heck of a lot more vitamins uh, than cucumbers. And it's wonderful, it's a very great antioxidant. So it, it does make, it, you know, you're gonna have fun with this. It's gonna be messy, guys, but it's okay. So you can use a whole one or you can use a half, but I'm just gonna use a half for now and I'm gonna put it on the side over here. What I have here is I have my kale and I have this over here. Because I can wrap this up and I can eat it tomorrow. And it's so yummy and so yummy, yumminish delicious, especially for me. I know that a lot of times, you know, we, you know, we look at things and we go, oh my God, where did that come from? But you know, to the, to the people from those countries, you know, that's what grows in their, in their country. So what I'm going to do with all this right here that I have on here, I want to save that. I don't want to throw that away. It's gooey and yummy, and I'm gonna grab me myself a little bowl here. Because you know, you don't wanna throw anything away because this is so healthy for you. And 
and right now, I, where I, uh, right now you can find these uh, in some health food stores. Uh, they, they, they're, they're starting to get things like this now. I'm so glad because, you know, and that way it opens up an entire different world to us of different things that we never even thought about. And who would have thought of a key one of melon? I thought about it because I wanted to bring you something very, very super healthy and especially right now with everything that's going on in the world, this is really, really needed. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slice it like so. Just slice it like so. And the whole thing, it's eatable. Oh my God, I can't wait, this is delicious. And then what I wanna do now is I'm gonna bring my kale. Now if you don't like kale, and I know there's a lot of people that they don't care, care for kale, but kale is very, very good for you. It's very high in zinc. Uh, and, uh, and we need that right now. So what I like to do is, let me get that blueberry. That blueberry wanted to come in here and play. Um, I want to get this, um, I drained it, but it didn't drain all the way. It still was draining more in there. So what I want to do to this is I just want to thin this out. Okay, let me, and what I like to do is I like to get them all in my hands and I have very little chiquitito hands, small hands. And then what you want to do is you just want to come in here and you just want to cut it very, very thin, very, very thin, because you know you don't want to be munching on, you know. And I think what it is, I think it's the texture, or maybe it's the uh, 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 the, the uh, flavor or something of why some people they just don't really care for it. But it's, uh, you know, I eat a lot of things that I don't care for, but I know they're very good for me. Okay, so what I want to do now is that I have chopped this. Is I'm just going to let it rain on my plate because this is going to be our dinner. We're going to have salads. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. It's going to be wonderful. Sometimes it's good to just have vegetarian, you know, give your body a break from working so, so hard. Okay. So now to this, what I want to do is I want to take my tomato. Let me get my tomato. And, uh, and what I would suggest when you do this is to organize yourself. So I am going to be using, for my husband and I, a half of the, uh, a half of the kiwano melon. I'm gonna be using a uh, uh, rambutan for the sweetness. Uh, I am going to be using the blueberries because I really wanna keep this a, a very high antioxidant uh, for myself and my husband. Uh, because, you know, I always tell you guys that if you have your body and you keep your body in alkaline, your body doesn't get sick. And when there are, you know, viruses out there, it prevents you from getting sick. It helps your body not to get sick. Okay, so now what I want to do is I just want to slice my tomatoes. Oh, yeah. It's going to be such a beautiful, pretty dish. You know, a lot of people tell me how much they love the colors of my dishes and this is really going to be a beautiful colorful dish and then what i want to do is i just kind of want to just you know spread it spread spreadingly spreadingly just kind of put them like so very simple transaction we're, gosh we're almost done with this all right so i'm just going to clear the decks over here okay and then what i'm going to be using is i'm going to be using a, a half uh, i'm going to be using a half an organic uh orange pepper uh, orange peppers, read about them, uh, they're wonderful, they're delicious, and they, they're very high on antioxidants. And when you, especially when you buy organic, oh, you know, you're not taking uh, all those pesticides in your bodies. And let me tell you, right now, there's all kinds of great cells on all of this. Fridays is a great day to go because they have a lot of cells on Friday. If you go to uh, health food stores, uh, near you so you know check so what i want to do with this is i'm going to cut that in half again so I'm, i cut that in half i cleaned it all out i took all the seeds out i'm going to i want i want to get rid of the membrane because the membrane i do not need the membranes in here okay i just want to what i want to do with this is i am going to cut it again all right cut it again follow me so far that i'm going to put those guys on top like so and then i'm just going to slice them thin oh yeah I'm gonna slice them thin. And it's gonna have a very simple vinaigrette that's gonna go on here. And then just kinda, of, you know, put them around. This is gonna be such a beautiful salad. And especially, you know, it's, it's so hot 
here in Florida. Today, the index is like 100. So if you see that, what we're doing so far, okay? So now what I wanna do is I wanna just take my blueberries because I wanna continue, you know, the wonderful high antioxidants. I want, I want this to be a, a, a you know, protein, and I want this to help my, my blood. I, 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 you know, this is, this is really working for me. How much uh, blueberries? I, I like quite a bit of blueberries because I love the tanginess of blueberries. I love, 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 love blueberries. So that's over there. So then what I'm going to do now is now I am going to put my beautiful kimono melon. My beautiful kimono melon. Look at that. Look how beautiful and colorful this dish is. You know, I'm telling you, we can learn so much from so many people from so many different countries. Look at that. Look at that. And you know, we're not quite finished yet. So now I just used, um, I'm gonna continue to slice a little bit more of my, of the rep of my orange peppers. And orange peppers, again, they're so full of antioxidants. And you know, I love eating them raw. I do. I, I really love, love, love eating vegetables raw. And, uh, and especially when I know that they're so good for me. And you kind of, you know, you want to just kind of spread them out a little bit here and there. Oh man, it's beautiful. I, I just think it's just so beautiful. I, I, I just really think that whatever God created, all these beautiful things are just amazing. So I'm just using a half of the tomato. Okay, I used a half of the orange. I used a half of my wonderful kimono melon uh, that is from Africa, that it's, uh, it, it's, it, it's from the cucumber and, me and melon family. Imagine that, cucumber and melon family, how, how amazing that is. And then I still have some of this over here that I'm not gonna throw away. And I have my, right here, I have my, my, um, my little bowl here. And I wanna keep that, because I'm gonna be using that for something else. Wait till I show you, so we got this. So now, let me bring you now to the wonderful little guys, my little hairy dudes, my rambutans. I just, I just love the name rambutan, and my little Asian little guys, my little Asian little friends, and um, I'm sure that if any of my Asian friends are watching, they're all smiling, going, yes, Elena, yay! Um, so I'm gonna bring these little guys over here, now that I clear my board, and then what I like to do, guys, is I like to take it, uh, you know, they're not very easy to peel because you just pop them in your mouth. So what I do is I kind of just kind of go around the seeds, okay? And as you can see, and I'm just gonna just lay it right on there, right on, just like that. And this gives it such a refreshing, delicious flavor. And I'm gonna say that, the, that part. Uh, and uh, I could not get enough of these guys. When I went to uh, Costa Rica, I just couldn't get over how beautiful and delicious they were. And then I, when I went to the organic farms over there, I got to see how they were growing them. And, and the thing is, is when you get in here, mmm, mmm, so sweet. But what I wanna show you is that there is a seed. Here's the seed. And that's what I'm going to try to plant and see if it, if it works. Let's see, right? You guys will find out. Um, it's a very interesting tree. It, it's, it's a lot of fun to kind of watch, actually. So this is going to give the sweetness, the sweetness of this beautiful salad. You know, and I really love creating unusual things. I, you know, I've always thought outside of the box, I used to get in a lot of trouble because I was always thinking outside of the box. And you know, I, I would never be uh, s someone that would just follow. I, I, I guess I always beat to my own drum. <laughs> All right, so you don't need a lot of them, just a few. See that? Look at that beautiful salad. Okay, so now for the salad dressing, very simple transaction. Very easy. So what I'm going to do is I already have these guys in here. So, you know, if you're cutting these and you have this, why throw it away? <laughs> why throw something that is so high in protein and so good for you? So what I want to do to this is I want to add a teaspoon of black pepper. Very simple, very easy. A pinch of salt. Uh, about uh, two tablespoons, and I'm going to measure for you, yes. 
two tablespoons of olive oil. Oh, well, that was a lot of olive oil. Okay, well, that's what happens. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have a lot more. <laughs> hey, sometimes, you know, I'm just gonna add a little bit more pinch of salt. You see that? You just gotta roll with the punches. Don't be stressed out. There's too much other stuff to be worried about. Okay, more, more pepper. So what if I got a little bit more olive oil? It's good for you anyways. Right? It's not like we're not gonna drink it, guys. And then, and then I'm gonna have my apple cider vinegar. Make sure you shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all you can. Take a lot of my gold, la 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 la. All right, so that's my exercise of the day. Ah, oh, boy, I'm burning up now. Okay, so I'm gonna put probably one, two tablespoons because this guy, you know, he uh, he just decided that he wanted to be more than less. All right, so now that we got this going over here, I got some uh, mustard. How much mustard? Probably about a teaspoon. If I can squeeze a teaspoon, there he is, right in here. And now, to make things even sweeter, uh, just a little bit more sweeter, we are just going to put, and you know, honey is very, very good for you. I'm just going to take a good tablespoon of honey. There we go. Good tablespoon of honey. And, and you know, when you're going to be using honey, and if you're going to measure, Put a little bit of olive oil or some oil on your spoon and then the honey comes right off. Yes, it took me years to figure that one out, guys. I... So now what I, want you, what I want to show you is, is I want to shifily, shifily this. I come up with all kinds of different names. And, uh, oh, wow. And this is what you look, this is what, you, what you're looking. You see what you're looking over here? So now you got your salad dressing for this, okay? So what I want to do is, you know, I always tell you, you got to taste, you got to taste, guys, you got to taste, because, you know, I don't know if I might need some salt or what else. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You guys got to try the salad dressing. It is really easy and delicious. So now I have my salad dressing for later, for later. Okay. So now what I have here is, where well, they were just here. My beautiful pine nuts. What I'm gonna do to my pine nuts is I'm just going to just let it rain pine nuts. So like a handful of pine nuts or a handful of nuts. If you're not gonna eat it right away, I would just cover it with, with uh, saran wrap and I would just put it in the refrigerator. Look what you made, look what you made. And can you imagine you telling your friends, oh, oh my God, what is that salad? Oh my, what is that? Oh, it's just, you know, kiwana melon and rum and, and, rum, and uh, Rambutan, and they're gonna go, what? <laughs> okay, so this is my my wonderful Kiwana melon salad. All right, so now I am going to turn this over, and, and that's why I just love having a board like this because in that way I can use everything. And now we're gonna be going to a whole different other way. Because now what I'm gonna bring your attention to is the next of wonderful things that we're going to be using. And uh, what we're gonna be using is, uh, it's uh, this wonderful guava. Uh, guava is, originated, it originated from Mexico. It's rich in antioxidants, potassium, vitamin C. It helps lower blood sugar. It helps lower blood sugar, yes. Who would have known the guava? And I know that sometimes it's hard to find these guys. Okay, and then I want to bring this, atten this attention to this right over here also. It is, uh, it is called, uh, they have a different name to uh, pitaya. Pitaya, and it's also from Asia, which we call it dragon fruit. So I'm going to be utilizing, it's going to be another salad. So I'm going to be utilizing guava, uh, pitaya, dragon fruit, I am going to be utilizing some, some um, uh, yellow beets. I'm going to be utilizing a very little bit of green onion. I'm going to be utilizing a tiny, tiny bit of uh, cilantro. If you don't have cilantro, you can use uh, parsley. And I also have a couple little ra uh, radishes that have made their baby. I'm going to be using a white plate because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. Okay, so now uh, I'm also going to be making a salad dressing, guys, because I have dun, 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 and pineapple wants to come and 
clay. And we need the pineapple. Okay, so again, let me repeat the salad, okay? We have pineapple, radishes, pitaya, dragon fruit, guava, beets, and red onions, okay? So we get that out of the way. All right, so let me get, let's get started. What I wanna do here is I'm gonna be making like a pineapple dressing that's gonna go over all of this. And my pineapple is starting to go bad. They should, I, I need to use it. So I want to utilize it. So what I, like, what I do is I'm just going to cut, you know, the, the, the pieces that are, you don't, have, like I said, you don't have to throw anything away, guys. You could just cut around things. Just cut around things. Okay? And then another thing that I do too is when things start to go bad and if I'm not going to use it, like today, I'm going to cut them all and then I'm just going to put it in a, in a freezer bag and I'm gonna freeze it and then it's easy and it's wonderful for smoothies. Okay, so what I wanna do is I just wanna take a nice little piece like so because I really want this to have a nice pineapple flavor. I'm just gonna use all of it in here. I'm just gonna take my little, my little guys and see my little jar. You know how I am about jars. I love jars. I'm just gonna go right in there just like that. See, no, no stress, no, nothing to be stressed about. Then I'm just gonna take up my beet, my wonderful beet. I'm just gonna cut. I, you know, I just, I just boil these guys, just going to get these, I get these are guys are organic and I'm just going to mix it in this and I'm just going to put a good half of it into my, into my salad dressing. Yes, you can make salad dressing with them. It's easy. So what to this, to this now, I'm just going to add, okay, a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon, a good tablespoon. I am going to be adding some apple cider vinegar too, because it's healthy and good for me, but about one or two tablespoons. Apple cider vinegar, my grandfather would drink, would have a, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar every single day of his life, and he lived to, to, to many years and he was hardly ever sick. So I, I, I like to use that. And then I'm going to be using some black pepper, because you know, it is a salad dressing, you know? Who said that you can't do that? With, with this. What do you think they do what they do at restaurants when they, they have a very fancy name for them? Okay, so pretty much right here is just a half a, a, half a beet, some uh, wonderful uh, 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 pineapple. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of water. Let me grab some water over here because that way it'll emulsify and do everything together. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of my, uh, maybe about a teaspoon, guys. All right, so because it's already has, pineapple is already sweet, I'm not going to add any honey or anything to this. So what I want to do is, this is going to be a simple transaction. Put it in your blender on one of these guys and, and just let it rock and roll. And it makes a very beautiful color, as you can see. Very simple, very easy. You don't have to go out and buy salad dressing when you have everything at home. It saves you money. And especially now with everything that's going on. Okay, so now what I want to do is, I will show you how to cut these, but what I want to do first is I want to really take care of my wonderful uh, beet. And beets are very, very good for, uh, for you. Uh, they have a lot of uh, fiber, and uh, it helps you uh, with digestion, and it's wonderful. So what I like to do with this kind of salad is, I like to, and you know how I like to do things. I like to make things pretty, but I'm just going to, I'll, I'll rearrange everything, but from now I'm just going to be showing you how I'm doing it. And then, to, and then you get to see the end result in pictures. Okay, so now the dragon fruit, you know, again, here's another guy that, you know, that looks, that looks very weird and unusual. So what I like to do to that is just, I like to cut a little piece of that, cut a little piece of that right here, and then, Look what you get inside. It is just so beautiful. And then what I like to do is I just like to come in here and just kind of slice this, not all the way through, okay? Not, not, not all the way through, and just start peeling, all right? Uh, sometimes you can keep that, you know, I don't keep the outer, uh, the outer, I just throw that all out away. And then what I do with this is clear my decks over here, and I'm just gonna slice these guys. 
and let me tell you, there's something to be said about dragon fruit. Really, it is really, truly delicious. And you ought to try it. It is wonderful. I, I love, I love the, uh, I love the seeds, I love the crunch, I just love everything, it's, it just has everything. Okay, so now I'm just going to clear the decks over here, and now for our little radish. Now, I started growing radish, and actually, the way that I started growing radish is, you know when you get your radish? Okay, this is the top part, and this is the bottom part, okay, this part. What I do is I like to cut my radish about this much, okay? And I will put this into my organic soil and they will start sprouting. Mine started sprouting. Yes, you can grow radishes. And these are organic radishes. And by all means, I'm gonna grow them. So I'm just gonna cut the little, the little, you know, this little piece thing off. And radishes are very, very healthy for you. They're very, very good for you. And I love radishes and radish loves me. And the white ones, uh, sometimes, you know, they may have a little something in there. Don't worry about that part. And I just like to just slice them like so. Why not? Why not, you know, have these amazing salads that are, are so healthy for you and so good for you? So, again, you know, I'm just going to make this. Uh, and I like the two colors because, you know, you can play off. You can make it really pretty if you want to. And I will make it pretty later. And uh, this is the part that I know is so scary. Be careful, because when it comes to this part, you know, I just get it in there, my knife. It's always scary, you know. But yay, we did it, woo, woo, woo. All right, so now that we have our beautiful jackfruit over here, we have our beautiful guys over here. You know, you have your over here kind of a guys. Now what I want to bring you is to this amazing guava. And guava, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna cut this part. Oh, I love guava. I love, love guava. Me and guava got to know each other really well when I went to Hawaii. And uh, it was, it, I mean, they were just all over the place. And uh, there were, were lots and lots of chickens. And boy, those chickens, you know, they were eating them left and right. Um, and, uh, and we stopped. And me, let me tell you, it's just uh, the flavors, the smell, I love the smell, I love everything about the guava. And I wish that I could, uh, maybe, I don't know, I don't know if I can, if I'm allowed to grow a tree here, but I'm going to see if I can start it from seed. And uh, and then maybe I can keep it in a pot. And it's not on the ground, and no birds or whatever animals are not going to interfere with that. And what I'd like to do to that, I just want to cut this open, guys, because I want to show you. Look at that. I'm beautiful. I'm telling you, God thought of all kinds of wonderful things. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to cut it in half again. Okay, I'm just going to cut a little bit more of the, uh, it, watch out because it's a little sticky. It is a little sticky. Just going to cut this off. And be careful with a knife because this thing is sticky. And wait till you see this plate on how, how pretty it's going to be. And you can cut them in half like so, okay. And, and it's just and it's just beautiful. It's just 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 beautiful. And then what I would do is I would I would serve this with these with a salad dressing on the side. Okay? Because the salad then they can pick however how many pieces they want of the waba. And uh, and you know they have all those wonderful waba desserts too. Boy, they're just so good, those waba desserts. But this is a lot better and healthier for you. Okay, so now we got this like that. I'm gonna show this to you. Let me get this out of the way. All right, guys. I just wanna show you what we've done today. All right, so now, this is my wonderful Waba salad. Uh, my, my, I'm gonna call this my pitaya guava salad with my wonderful salad dressing that I have right here and I'm gonna taste this and I'm gonna oh my gosh look at that salad dressing look at that salad dressing let me show you guys 
Look at the salad dressing. Look what you made. It is marvelous. It is delicious. So this is how I would serve it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then of course, your wonderful uh, kimono melon salad. Okay guys, there you have it. Something from different countries. Something that is amazing, healthy, and super delicious. I am Melinda Jones and I want to thank you so much for joining me today on my beautiful cucina. Be kind to yourself. Be loving. I love you. I want to have a wonderful weekend. And guys, for your health, for your health, look, look at this. Cup. Oh my goodness, I can never say it right. Kiwano melon, Asian fruit. This uh, salad, this amazing, wonderful guava and uh, ti, ta, ti, uh, ti pitaya uh, salad. And that's it, guys. Okay.